بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له إلها واحدا أحدا فردا صمدا قيوما ونشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته وأحبته علي أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهم السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وأعوانه عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي المقصرة بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره من وصية لسيدنا ومولانا الإمام الحسن بن علي الزكي عليهما السلام أنه قال Yesterday the 15th of Ramadan was the anniversary of the birth of the second imam in the school of Ahlul Bayt, Al-Imam Al-Hasan alayhi salatu wa salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alayhi Muhammad. In his will, wasiyah, in his advice to one of his students, he says, Istaidda li safarik, prepare for the day of departure. We have a day of departure ahead of us. We all share in that departure, whether you like it or you dislike it. Whether you are a believer or non-believer, a worshipper or non-worshipper, a Muslim or non-Muslim. That day of that day of departure is reserved for you. Whether you have the money to pay for the ticket or you don't, they are booked. The ticket for you to leave. Istaidda li safarik. Therefore, be prepared. Wa hassan zadak. Zad is what we use, the provision. Provision that we use in the trip. People carry with them. They used to carry food, drink in the past. Now they carry the credit card. You know, United can offer you only if you have a credit card. So, وَحَصِّلْ زَادَكَ قَبْلَ حُلُولِ أَجَلِكَ Before that time comes, the ajal, get the provision, make it ready, make it ready, so you carry it. And then he says, وَعْلَمْ أَنَّكَ لَا تَكْسِبُ مِنَ الْمَالِ شَيْئًا فَوْقَ قُوتِكَ إِلَّا كُنْتَ فِيهِ خَازِنًا لِغَيْرِكَ Be assured that every single money you accumulate above what you need, Above your needs is going to be a burden upon you. are going to accumulate that for others. You are not going to enjoy it. You only enjoy the money that you use and you need. Above that, it's a liability. Above that, it's a burden. You are not going to enjoy it. You accumulate money for some people who might not even remember you after your death. Sometimes I see some poor people with, with moderate income, they enjoy this life much more than the rich people. Because rich people, they are always in the state of anxiety, anxious, anxious about two things, how to maintain what they have, not to lose it, and how to increase what they have to. They are always... What is really keeps us busy in this life and it brings anxiety, source number one 
is how to make money. How to make money, how to sustain our families, how to help our families. This is what keeps us busy. This is the first important thing that we have on our mind. How to make money so I can pay for myself and my family. Allah says, I will guarantee that. If you are a hard-working, sincere person, if you are not lazy, you will get what you deserve. But then some people, they get what they deserve and what they need, but they don't trust. They don't have rest. Some of them, I know some of the rich people, they don't enjoy their food. They don't enjoy their families. The month of Ramadan is the month of family. They don't, they don't spend time with their families. Tell me what is the value, what is the worth of this money that you have, or the profession that you have, or the business that you have, which does not allow you to spend some quality time with your children, with your family members. Is it really worth it? Sometimes I see people with minimum wage, $10 an hour, they spend more time, quality time, they enjoy their time with their families, much more than those who are millionaires. Imam al-Hassan salam says, when Allah has given you what you need, then if you make extra, share it with others. Don't keep it. Don't accumulate. There are some rich people who have lands and properties that they have not even seen. They don't see it. They don't enjoy it. He accumulates. And then on the day of judgment, he has to give the answer. People come after him, sometimes not even his children, his great-grandchildren. They enjoy that property. They enjoy it. And the grandfather and his qabr, wherever he is, I don't know, where they take him, he has to give an answer. Wa'lam. Be assured. Every single penny that you make above your need, above your need, you have to give an answer to that. It would be a burden on you. Try to share. And the month of Ramadan is the month of sharing. The month of Ramadan is the month of generosity. The month of zakat. The month of حقوق الناس حقوق الله and حقوق الناس before they are القدر again if you have some debt to people sometimes sometimes begin with the people go and give them back whatever you have taken whatever loan you have and the loan is due you have to go and give it back before they are القدر I mentioned this hadith that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم or the hadith now, I'm fasting, I want to be accurate. He says, as shaheed, all, all people are going to be held accountable before they go into paradise. They have to look into their files. They check their passports, except one group. They go without checking their records. And this is a shaheed. The martyr, real martyr, huh? not martyr who works for Daesh. Huh? The one who works for Daesh right away to Jahannam. Immediately to Jahannam. No doubt about it. The one who murders the Muslims during Ramadan and before Ramadan and after Ramadan and murders women and takes. Yesterday they took women from Syria as Asra, Usara, prisoners of war. And they brought them from Syria. They were selling them in Fallujah in Iraq. And they take women from Iraq from Ambar province, they go and sell them in Syria in the market. This is Daesh. This is the Islam of Daesh. This is the Khilafah of Daesh. This is the type of Khilafah that Daesh wants to bring to the Muslim communities. And unfortunately, some brainwashed, naive, some naive people in our community, in the Muslim community, they believe Daesh and they support them. So, the shaheed who gives his life for the right cause, they would not stop him, they would not answer him, right to the Jannah. But if he has a loan, they tell him, you will go to Jannah, but not now. Stay here until your family, they pay off this loan. They pay off this debt. They have to pay off this debt. Then you can make it to Jannah. So, this is how Islam is strict when it comes to financial affairs, financial responsibility. 
give back to people what you have taken from them. Then the gates of mercy, inshallah, will be open for you and share, share what you have. Be more generous in this month. لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرْ This is the Holy Quran. You are not going to be righteous. Righteous. الْبِرْ وَالتَّقْوَى Righteous or pious or kind unless حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ When you give from the original of your money, from the food that you love, you share. The clothing that you love, you share. The money that you love, you share. Not the extra. Mimma tuhibbun. Mimma tuhibbun. Whatever you have kept for yourself, you have to share with others. At that time, you attain bir, righteousness and piety. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna Allah ya'mur bil adli wal ihsani wa ita'i dil qurba wa yanha anil fahshai wal munkari wal baghi. يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات تابع اللهم بيننا وبينهم بالخيرات اللهم تقبل صيامنا وصلاتنا ودعاءنا في هذا الشهر العظيم اللهم اجعلنا من عتقائك من النار اللهم ادخلنا الجنة واغفر لوالدينا ولأرحامنا ولأهلنا وأصدقائنا اللهم ارحم المسلمين والمؤمنين في كل مكان يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم فرج عن إخواننا المؤمنين في سوريا وفي اليمن وفي العراق وفي, وفي فلسطين وفي مصر وفي كل مكان يا أرحم الراحمين وعجل في فرج سيدنا ومولانا صاحب العصر والزمان وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات والشهداء ثواب الفاتحة مع الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد